if you hadn't figured out what was going on, I don't know that we would have had like such a great episode, so. Damn, season 10. It was so good I would get it tattooed on my body, season 10. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Lala Kemp for Vanderpump Rules. I'm sitting here with one of our Emmy-nominated editors, Jesse Friedman. Are you nervous? I am very nervous, yes. I'm only nervous because I like things to be about me, and it's about you today. <laughs> so, season 10, episode 13, yes. was nominated for an Emmy. Ali told me the other day that Katie insinuated that y'all have an open relationship. We don't have that. So Jason said he was leaving the party and then you said, no, I'm actually gonna stay. You said you didn't know Jason left because you were taking a sh <laughs> You realized you put me in a position with this where people will think that I'm an idiot. I should say you yes. are one of the editors that's nominated for an Emmy. Yes. How does that feel? It feels crazy. I never expected to be nominated for an Emmy in my career, but I think that the phenomenon of mm -hmm. season 10 put the show out there to a lot of people who maybe wouldn't have seen it before. And I worked on it with no expectation that that would ever happen. It was coming right. from a pure, creative, love of the show place. And so for that to be recognized is an amazing thing. I've always thought that Vanderpump Rules should be nominated for an Emmy. I'm like, this mm -hmm. show is so fantastic. Yeah. And I got into it during COVID. I had never seen it. I had only seen season four on, okay. which is when I entered. Yes, I'm a little vain. <laughs> but I went back and started watching. I'm right. like, this is fantastic television. I mean, I think you guys have been putting it all out there for- Many years. For many years. And so I think there's a lot of people who have felt like this was long overdue. And I mean, I feel like incredibly grateful to be put into that conversation. Yeah. Me too. How long have you been an editor on Vanderpump Rules? I've been an editor on Vanderpump since season seven. Oh. Yes. That I consider my hottest mess season. Squeeze the f out of my hand. Hard. This is helping my anxiety so much. I thought you were a dummy before my dad died. I It was very emotional. Yes. And angry. You had dark hair. Yeah. Yes. You remember. I do. Since season seven, what has been the season where it's like, this was the funnest season to edit? I mean, season 10 was, I think it's the best season I've ever worked on of any show, ever. Of I've any been, show? Any, yeah. Season 10 of Vanderpump Rules? Yeah, I mean, easily. Damn. Yeah. Well, you were responsible for editing together that throw-in of having to kind of rewind the tape yes. and show all of these moments and clues about Scandaval. This leads me to only one logical conclusion. I think Scandaval has a thing for Raquel. Damn. Was that hard to do? I mean, I can take you back to like what headspace I was in. March 1st, everything goes down. Right. March 2nd, I get a phone call. Basically, what Lala had thought was going on is happening. Basically, we had uh, three things that happened off camera mm -hmm. that were the things that really set everything in motion. It was Sandoval and Raquel at the Abbey, uh, the Labor Day party, mm -hmm. and it was um, the sleepover. Right. And so we had to like figure out a way to weave all of that in. But I didn't know a device that would work right. to tell that story. So I was like, I grew up in the 80s and the, some of the first editing I ever did was like VHS to VHS tape. Okay. And I was like, I wonder if we could use this device where we rewind the tape Sick. and play back through all the footage that this, even the audience hasn't seen. I can't believe what? that Tom Zanderville had Raquel oh. over when Ariana's away. I know. Well, you killed it. That Thank it you. was it was absolutely amazing. The thing that I did for episode 13 was totally chaotic, a lot of rewinding, fast forwarding, mm -hmm. a lot of effects. And I think there's like a misconception that that is like good editing. But like some of my best work is like knowing as an editor when to like step back yeah. and to let things play. And like one of my most favorite scenes that I did was in season seven, you guys were in solving 
for a girls trip. Yeah. With you and Stassi, you were talking about your dad. My dad is just a memory. <laughs> I just miss him a lot. Stassi, I just feel like my world just crumbled. I'm just really f***ed up right now. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think sometimes when you cut a bunch, you lose kind of the meaning yeah. or the feeling of the moment. There was something about that moment that was so real and so raw. And as an editor, I think in moments like that, to be able to know when not to edit and to right. just let something breathe because it's real and because somebody's expressing how they feel is like a powerful thing. So, yeah. I go back and watch that scene actually pretty often yeah. to remind myself of where I was at that time mm -hmm. and how far you can come with with time and just kind of, like you said, letting things just be. Um, yeah, thank you for everything you've done on Vanderpump Rules. Yeah, thank Rolls. you, yeah. Excellent television. <laughs>